The Chicago Cubs have just won the World Series. I never actually thought I would live to see the day. Nothing against Chicago or anything. I grew up in St. Louis. The Chicago Cubs has always been our rivals, so it's just one of those things where it's like a natural dislike. I'm not even really that big into baseball, so coming from a Cardinals fan, or you know, when they do really well, <laughs> for just this once, I'm happy to see a team you know, come from where they've been for a long time, you know, towards the bottom of the ranks, to now be known as this year's champions. I just thought this was a good time to briefly talk about this before tomorrow morning, before the media gets saturated with this news. So yeah, congrats Chicago. Back to the vlog. <laughs> It's one of the more fun classes I take in school. Um, so it's a it's a production class. It's a lot of fun. I'm learning a lot. Really fix it. I know it's so much blue, but like. Thank you. However, this is not working. Whatever works. Yeah, but roll camera. been home. I just gonna say home. I haven't been in my room since 11 o'clock this morning. And yes, I still need to do question and answers today. A uh, new segment I want to do on a somewhat weekly basis. Who knows? Um, but at 7 o'clock, which it's coming up in about 30 minutes, there's fraternity and sorority serenades, which means I'm not sure how it's going to go down tonight, but I mean, I'm going to get on camera anyways. Welcome to this episode of Questions and Answers. All right, actually, I have a fair amount of questions uh, the first time around doing this, so thank you guys for participating. First question. Before I get into this question, um, this channel, I'm going to try my best to stay clear from political discussions, you know, my political opinions and beliefs and whatsoever. Because in the media, there's already so much saturation with pol with political debate and political opinion, so I'd rather not add to that, and honestly, it's not necessary. Everyone has their own belief of how, they're, how they think the country should be run, and everyone is entitled to their opinion, that's fair. And honestly, politics is just kind of boring. Will college students vote for Hillary or Trump? It's kind of broad, because... College students in general or college students specifically at Missouri State? I tend to think that most college campuses tend to be more on the Democratic side, a little more liberal. I honestly don't know. However, it does vary from campus to campus, so in general, it really depends. But here at Missouri State, eh, it's, hard, it's tough to say. That is another conversation for another time. Ooh, when have you seen proof of the Illuminati? 
I don't even know what that is. Well, actually, I'm gonna look it up right now because that's kind of interesting. I, I don't know if this is what the question entitles this Illuminati. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't have an answer to that question, I'm sorry. So here I have a question from a good high school friend. How the hell am I gonna get through the rest of the semester and finish strong? I'm dying over here. Oh, what do you mean by that? Like academically, socially, you know, health-wise, it really depends. Or is it just everything coming together? My best answer to that question is to take each day, one day at a time. Instead of looking at the big picture, look at what you need to do right now, what you need to do today. Because this kind of outlook is a little less stressful, you're a little more focused on one or two things, and it's just a good way to think about things, and it's a good habit to get into. Oh, are there any good all-you-can-eat sushi places close to campus? You know what? In St. Louis, there's one or two places actually that do all-you-can-eat sushi. Um, in Springfield, I have yet to find a restaurant that has all-you-can-eat. There is sushi places, really good sushi places actually, but not all-you-can-eat, unfortunately. Another reason why I miss home. Next question. What's your first thought when you wake up in the morning? Honestly, my very first thought when I wake up in the morning is my fish tank, which is right here. Um, because I'm always worried that, oh my gosh, my plants are gonna die if I don't turn on my light. Because it's not just fluorescent lighting, like white lighting. There's like a red and I think a blue lighting connected right there just to help plant growth. So like that's like always on my mind when I first wake up. Otherwise, you know, it really just depends on the day, what I have going on. Like if I have something big going on or assignment or a test, I think about that. I usually always put on music in the morning when I'm getting ready just to motivate me, you know, to say, okay, here we go. Let's conquer the day kind of thing. Um, but yeah, nothing crazy. I mean, I just try and uh, get ready as fast as I can. <laughs> How hard do you suh, dude? So in case you don't know, so dudes like saying what's up, or actually it's more like saying what's up. Yeah, according to Urban Dictionary, so dude is a shortened version of the statement, what is up dude? How hard do I so dude? I so dude hard because I always say what's up to people. All right, last question and probably my favorite question I got today. What do you miss most about St. Louis? To be honest, and this is kind of, you know, getting into the feelsies, but I miss my family. You know, my brother Henry, he is just starting to crawl. It's almost his first birthday coming up. It's like I'm missing so much because I'm at school. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be in Springfield.